Psoriasis, what is it, and what are the different kinds? Psoriasis is a chronic skin disease that commonly causes red spots that itch. These spots have certain scales that vary in between white and silver tones, depending on the severity of the condition. What is psoriasis? This autoimmune condition causes white blood cells to function too fast. This causes the skin layers to regenerate at a faster rate than the normal cycles of cell regeneration, creating lesions on the skin that tend to cause itching and irritation. This disease is usually hereditary. Therefore, if there is no history of this disease in your family then you can relax since the chances of getting it are minimal. Psoriasis is usually caused by physical and psychological exhaustion that puts a lot of stress on the mind and body. An erratic lifestyle, problems at work or personal problems could act as triggers if you have to deal with them for extended periods. What are the types of psoriasis? There are several types of this disease. In order for you to adequately treat it, it's important that you know which type is affecting you. Plaque psoriasis This is the most common form of psoriasis known and characterized because it causes excessive plaque on the skin. It usually appears on the knees, elbows, face, ears and back. It starts as a regular rash but doesn't go away when you use over-the-counter creams. The rash then changes to a reddish color with a flaky texture. There are also patches of skin that have defined edges on the rash. Plaxoriasis causes a lot of itching and in some cases bleeding due to dryness or excessive scratching. In the case that it affects your scalp, white scales that look like dandruff will appear. If this type of the disease affects your nails, then they begin to chip and sometimes the nail becomes completely detached. Gut hate psoriasis This type of psoriasis usually produces small red spots on both the torso and limbs but does not cover a large area. It can also affect the ears, face, and scalp. It's more common in people under 30 years old. Moreover, it causes lesions that are not as thick as those that occur in plaque psoriasis. People who are carriers of strep or have a chance of inheriting this condition usually develop it when exposed to cold climates that dry the skin. Pustular psoriasis This type of psoriasis mainly affects adults and is characterized by the formation of blisters or white pustules of non-infectious pus accompanied by redness of the surrounding skin. The skin is usually red before the blisters start forming and is normally itchy and painful in the affected area. Erythrodermic psoriasis This is considered one of the most dangerous forms of this disease because it covers large areas of skin with reddish spots and coexists with pustular psoriasis. It's more common in people suffering from unstable plaque psoriasis, where the lesions last indefinitely. Reverse psoriasis This type of the disease is common in the folds, as in the armpits groin and under the breasts. It is particularly uncomfortable because sweating keeps the skin feeling sensitive. It usually appears in large patches, but scales don't appear in this type of psoriasis. Furthermore, it's easy to notice and covers large areas in the folds of the skin. Nail psoriasis When the nails itch, develop an irregular surface, or are torn from the root, this type of the disease in question occurs. It's usually similar to scalp or plaque psoriasis. 
Your symptoms may include irregularity in the nail surface, splinters in the nail, or the entire removal of the nail. Scalp psoriasis This type of psoriasis is often confused with serious dandruff problems. People who have other types of the disease normally develop this type. It begins with fine scales, and then dense and thick scales end up forming, which can spread throughout the scalp and nearby areas such as the neck, ears, and forehead. Psoriatic arthritis People with this type of the condition are between the ages of 30 and 50. It commonly causes inflammation pain in and around joints stiff or locked joints fatigue and limited movement red eyes lots of stiffness in the tendons it's very important that this type of psoriasis is diagnosed and treated in time so that your joints are not permanently damaged. We recommend reading 12 foods that fight arthritis psoriasis and depression it's common for people suffering from some type of psoriasis to have a tendency to show symptoms of depression. This is because the unattractive appearance of the lesions often catches the attention of others in a negative way and can affect self-esteem. For this reason, if you're dealing with any type of psoriasis it's important that you seek the support of your family and friends to provide understanding and encouragement. Remember that self-medicating is not the solution. Your immune system is very different from other people's, and to deal with this problem requires different drugs in each patient. Previous she beat cancer at 3, but could not survive school bullying or sent to your hands to measure food portions.